So let me tell you what's worth it. All right. The MetaView app. That's what's worth it. Yes. For the for the low, low price of three ninety nine, you get to declutter that insane, insane, insane amount of YouTube VODs that you get when you subscribe to all the channels, as you should, because they deserve your support. But you can enjoy the declutter and have all the best Smash clips in one playlist. And the MetaView app does that for you. All for the price of three ninety nine, man. And if you're like me, you live a busy life. You have an app for your for getting around. You have an app to buy a car, to rent a car. You have an app to get your food delivered. You have your app to activate your air conditioning. And if you're like me, you even have an app to watch all your Smash content in one great place. The MetaView app it does it all. And the best of all, part of it is it's free. And they're supporting the Smash community here at Two GG. So stop what you're doing. Check it out now declutter free yourself from the clutter of all that youtube vod uploads man and trust me it ain't fun seeing it all the time when you're trying to watch your favorite videos just get the app and save yourself plus it's got a beautiful app icon and it sits very very pretty on your iphone and don't worry if you don't have an iphone they got you covered with an android app coming soon so definitely yeah. check out the MetaView app and if you don't even have a phone if you're like me sometimes oh I, i'm always having a phone but if you have a web browser. Check it out on metaview.gg. Sometimes you like using the web bra sorry, web braced blah, 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 blah. Words are hard sometimes. Sometimes <laughs> you like using the web based browser. Then check it out here on metaview.gg. Stop what you're doing, man. Stop the clutter. Declutter your life. Declutter the Smash content. Get it all in one place. The MetaView app does it all for you. And with that, right. let's get on to uh, what is it? Nine Super Pie and Jake. Yeah, this is a grand finals time here of MSM Online. Yeah. Number 53. Ganon has the same amount of grabs Incineroar does. Look, yeah. No, actually, Ganon it's, has... Incineroar, Incineroar side B is better than Ganon side B. In hindsight. In hindsight. Jesus. Oh, what am I watching? Okay. I was like, what am I watching? Let's... Yeah, this is going to be interesting. Sure. Let's do this. DK mirrors to start off uh, grand finals. Someone said the, Fal the Falco. Uh, look, I've spoken to Larry about the Falco agenda. He literally told me Zenyu needs to stop. The Falco <laughs> agenda does not exist. The Falco agenda has not invaded the MetaView app. It's okay. <laughs> the, word, the, the funny thing about this DK Ditto, it's it's on PS2. Yep. Because <laughs> they know exactly what they're doing. Oh! Zion Super was setting up the tech, uh, tech chase there, not quite going to get it. Jake's got him juggling up top, but now... Still pressing the advantage. Oh, what a spot air dodge call out there by Jake in the F smash. Looking for the big <laughs> monkey fist, instead finds the waiting arms of Nine Super Pie. Not quite able to connect that throw into a combo, but here comes the big whiff punishing Uppy. <laughs> We're gonna see some dueling monkey copters. Let's go! Oh my god! Oh! Big slam there, big F smash from Nine Super Pie take that first <laughs> dodge. We're just gonna see a lot of jank and a lot of hilarious kills like that in this, this match. Woo! The yeet from Jake take that first dodge. <laughs> Sledge off by a real set. <laughs> oh, I'll, 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 uh... here. This feels more like a Thug Finals than a Grand Finals. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, man, sometimes when you're in Grands, you get to play the way you want to, especially when when your opponent agrees to it. So by all yeah, means, have fun with it. I imagine I Super Pie and Jade are friendly enough to agree to this gentleman's DK. <laughs> <laughs> Gentleman DK oh. for the reset. Man, good timing by Jade to avoid Nice Super Pie's punish. Not able to avoid this second monkey copter from ledge. And he does it right back. Oh. Top to monkey copter! Let's go! <laughs> oh! When he slams down there with the the drum beating down B. Big up tilt. Looking for the up air there. Jake's not gonna find it. Instead finds the waiting arms of another swinging monkey. Oh, nice down or up smash. Down smash there from Jake. These two are monkeying around so much they got my tongue twisted. 
Slow it. Whiff. Slap. Slap. <laughs> Loki DK's arms are like swords. Right. So, yeah. So I just tell everybody, DK is like a sword heavy in, in in a funny way, in a funny sense. I was imagining a fan art of DK with sword arms. Oh my god. That's that's cursed. <laughs> it's actually cursed. In the in the Wi-Fi. Oh man. I want to pay to have Smash Bros. Night Super Pie, and that was a match. <laughs> that was definitely a match. I I'd have some kind of insight for you, Vance, but uh, I feel like I'm at a loss for words. <laughs> you and me both. You and me both. It's all good, man. I guess. Like I said, Finally. when you when you get to grands, man, you you get, you get to you get to play the game how you want. All right, we're just gonna do this again. Let's go. The bigger dong wins in this. Oh my! I can't believe I read that. <laughs> I can't believe I read that out out loud. That is the worst <laughs> part. I am upset. I actually read that. Oh man! <laughs> isn't there like a? Isn't there like a? I know there's a streamer known by the name of like Expand Dong Man. Yep. He's yeah, the one behind the EDM tag, like Mabel's part of their team. Yeah, oh, nice grab here by Jake. I'm oh, sorry, Super Five, and we have to switch the tags. Super Five, yeah, there we go. Uh, oh, looking for the fair off the stage. Did I get a footstool there? Oh, and, and the additional punch of the F smash. Nice Super Five, kind of stuck at ledge. Oh, Jake almost read that and spaced it out for an F smash, but just barely whiffed. Oh, nice up air from Jake. Try to catch the nice for probably landing once again. Instead, eats another up punish. Ooh. Again, Jake able to avoid the bigger punish, but still eating an up that puts him off stage. Yeah, I'm just surprised we haven't seen much of the use of the back air from either player, but wow, wow. nice super probably living through that yeet. But not DK, through the up air. DK back air has such susceptible range that it just amazes me whenever like it connects. There we go. <laughs> ah, here comes the true DK ditto where they turn their backs to one another and back air. <gasps> Yo, hold the phone. Hold the phone. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, oh, like, that man. was actually really bad. Yeah, unfortunately, Knights survived way too much health to survive that. Oh, nice sequence here from Jake. Can't the zero to death. Back air. Oh. Oh, a call out. Catch the neutral dead up with a big ass smash. And so far, Jake. I feel like DK, honestly, I know you didn't. I don't know if you played Modern Warfare, but I feel like the DK dittos are very reminiscent of like no scopes on Rust back in Call of Duty Modern Warfare days. <laughs> if you, if anybody in the chat recognizes that, I will gladly be happy. So I was just looking for more than two out there. <laughs> Big grab from Jake, tries to throw him up to the top corner, and instead catches his landing with a big back air to game, take game number two. And you just cannot discount big monkey feet. Back air is going to do it and take game number two. Yeah, back air is just so crazy. Like, it, I can tell you people, it's, it's just, the, just the, the range it has is insane. Dude, I would love to see Leo's DK. <laughs> All right, that was into it. that was an era, bro. Like the people would just have beef and be like, "All right, bro, what do you want me on quick scopes rust?" <laughs> it just that was the way people fought back in the day. I feel like this is the same thing. I'm just from, I'm just from a different era, man. That's what I tell people. Leo's DK is not trash, but the the height, honestly, when I think of Donkey Kong and MK Leo, I think of like. The very height of Tweak versus MK Leo was the counterpick wars they used to have against each other because they were just so good with every character. So literally, it was a counterpick war every time they played against one another. It was crazy. The spot dodge call out from Jake and the taunt. <laughs> this entire matchup is nothing but pure it and pure reads, and Jake right now has got nine super by reeling. Big up air, gotta get the ding dong and does what? so. 
Jake is on fire right now. <laughs> he wants this run back. He wants to take Grand Finals to the next level. Six straight games, at least, of DK. <laughs> yeah, Tweak and DK versus MK Leo is, like, honestly, some of the best, like, Grand Finals I've ever seen in the history of Smash 4. Nice reply finally saying Jake out deep and the taunt. Nice. You love to see the players get hyped up for themselves. Oh no. Oh no. You can't do that. Night Super Pie wasn't ready for the expanding fair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, folks, uh if you get hit up there off stage against DK, you you need to DI back as far as possible, <laughs> as quickly as possible, because that fair will kill you. <laughs> All right. Jake is one win away from resetting bracket. Yeah. It does feel like Jake might have adapted. <laughs> oh, nice combo. One, two there from Super Bowl getting the up air. Looking for the second one, but Jake able to avoid it. That's been the difference so far is that Jake has been able to really escape a lot of that in Super Pie's attempts to extend advantage. Oh, managed to with withstand the big monkey punch and evades the up -y. Again, Jay trying to take Super Nitro Pie off top, off the ceiling, try to send him to the skies, Vance. Oh, the skies? Yeah! <laughs> so this whole oh, it did! Barry to F Smash and 9 Super Pie actually bringing that stock back, taking the first blood, taking the first stock. But Jay catches him defensively, and again, he really can't shield against DK above 80. He doesn't have to expect to die afterwards. Either DI or die. Oh man, that downward B just barely saved Man Super Pie's skin. Oh, back air trade. Ah, uh, Nine Super Pie was trying to play neutral in the ditto. And it didn't work. Nice punish by Jake, finding the right target to land the back air there. Take Nine Super Pie's stock. One stock away from resetting bracket. Big grab, up top, back air. Oh, the Nine Surprise. Nine Surprise fighting back with these back airs of his own. Oh! Helicopter punch. Did I go off deep? Oh, back air. So oh, close. No, that's it. That's it. That's, oh, it. that's it. That's it. The reset. Wow. Yeah. You see Nine Surprise had, Nine Surprise had the right game plan in, in mind there just to be like, okay, I, I can get back into this. But Jake, just patient enough, also probably realizing, well, you know what? I'll just take this both down with us. I'll win. That's it. <laughs> so we got the reset. Grand finals. Nine zero yeah. pies sent to losers. We got at least three more games left. Grand finals was so good. They had to make a grand finals too. <laughs> I'm telling you right now. Got some big monkey emotes in chat. Yep. From, from the... Expanding Don man. Uh, Shout out to him. Really I feel good. I feel I I love that he like goes all in for it. Like he you know, I may not like the character, but like he's all there for it and I'm all there for it. So shout outs to him, dude. He commits to it. He commits to it. And also, real quick, just shout out to everybody in chat that's participated and helped make tonight so entertaining. You know, we all work together to put forward these events here on stream. And really, it's it's all for the fans. So thank you all so much for your support. Thanks to everybody in chat that's uh, subscribed to 2GG Gaming here on Twitch. Um, we really appreciate your support, and we appreciate everybody that comes on through, from the pros to the new folks to the people who are very, very fond of posting emotes. Everybody's voice and everybody's opinion is appreciated here on Twitch. I know. I I bought I botch it like every other time. I'm sorry, J Max. Two G David. <laughs> <laughs> you added an extra G. 
Well, I added extra G because you know the the dawn was expanding. And that was the G does not have to do with the. Uh, all right, I think we've been exposed to too much DK, so hopefully we're gonna get a normal set. I hope so too. <laughs> See, there's been so much monkey monkey business on on screen. My my brain has been returning to monk. Ah, it doesn't look like we're going mains now. Ready? Here we go. Grand finals reset between nine super pies, Wii Fit Trainer, and Jake's Enderman. You know, Vance, if there's one really quick and immediate fix I'd like to have in the game, it's the ability to make the Omega and Battlefield stages just more usable for stream aside from the default FD. I don't know, because when there's especially like red skinned or red alt characters on screen, there's some points during FD where I'm just like, I can't see what's going on. Yeah, I, 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 argue, I argue like the melee FD is arguably the best version of FD. Because the stage itself was one consistent color, right? The background, there wasn't, it wasn't that bad. It was more dark. Um, but I still like the design of this FD. I, I just oh. wish, yeah, it was one, one consistent color. And the background could just be one constant background. Good DI there early on by Jake to survive and keep uh, persisting with the stock. Got Nice Reply a bit off stage. Got the spike hitbox, but Nice Reply. Oh, almost pulled off the recovery there, but Jake perfectly spacing out and meeting out punishment with the anvil, dropping it there, and right now immediately capitalizing here. And I think Super Pie is caught a little unawares off the back foot. Oh, nice. Trying to go for that back air. Very sneaky off the stage that way. Oh, what an escape by Jake would eat a soccer ball for his troubles. Granted, you know, that's one of the things that can actually kind of hamper a Wii Fit for a while late in percentages the soccer ball isn't really a the great kill confirm and look at that the big tnt nine super high actually managed to escape the punish window somehow i wow. get another deep breathing as well and that's gonna 32 off the bat i'm sorry oh no <laughs> this is the battle of just two insanely powerful characters off buffs all right nice fair oh look at that and the patience to just call out Jake's landing with the down smash, a nine super pie, like in a flash, of a, of like a blink of an eye, having taken the lead here in game number one. Good use of projectiles too to stop Jake from going for anvil, but unfortunately in the middle of that jump, the animation that Weefa Trainer does actually has her, her box move towards that up smash. Oh man, big, big forward swing. Now, oh, can next reply recover? Oh, 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 my oh. God, he oh. right on the blocks. What a save coming out, from, unintentional save coming out from Jake. And a good use of header to stop the side to be here. Nice to is like, I can perform some gymnastics. Watch this. Oh, but no. big, big punish and oh, you can see Nine Super Pie was trying to DI desperately for that one. Just not enough. Knockback, Diamond Axe, or Diamond Pickaxe was too strong. Diamond Pickaxe too strong indeed. So that, was a, that was an amazing escape that down deep there by Nine Super Pie. That was really entertaining. I was going to run it right back to FD. I do like that this time, yeah, it's a little slower this time because you can tell 9 Super Pi kind of wants to play this a little bit more paced. As you should, you can't be too aggressive on Steve, you kind of have to force Steve into... I feel at times you do have to force Steve into whiff punish opportunities here because he just excels at other factors. 
Yeah, you can see Nine Super is trying to play this so carefully, but even then, Jake is able to take an inch and go a mile in some of these interactions. But you can see him just trying to catch, even in disadvantage, just slight whiffs. Nice nair to bear there by Nine Super Pi. I gotta say, Wii Fit has one of the weirdest fares in the game, too, Vance. Because that, that strange hooking hit hits uh, behind, too, with the spike hitbox. Yeah, the, the fair is really... And it's crazy that fair does have a spike hitbox, like, literally behind her. Back air, nice. Okay, good good way to try to punish Steve from getting off my car. Well, what a read wow. coming out from Jake, just understanding the one option that your opponent might go for at the ledge is jumping to try to move around towards center stage. Ooh. That was a really good stall by Jake. <laughs> just double grab attempt there. That was <laughs> maybe going to the well one too many times for Jake. Nice survival to punish it. Take, take Jake's first stock. Ooh. Oh, I, lo I love that light. I love when players are able to get like the start of a combo and then sit back and let their opponent try to hang themselves, basically. Nice survival to try to capitalize there with a big slip of the sun. Almost getting it. Instead, now, whoo, was driving for a second for Jake. Just answered emphatically with the handbill. Oh! Nice. On the cross up, too, and then sensing Jake's aggression, too. Yeah, that was a really good response by Nine Super Vibes. Like, all right, you can go ahead and swing around me. I'll pick my spot. And Nine Super Vibes is doing a really good job of harassing Jake right now. I believe this is a run back and Nine Super Pi took the set earlier. Yeah. I like how Nine Super Pi is setting things up too. Keeping the distance, but also keeping the projectiles to slow down Drake's aggression. The more that you can do that, the better because you're effectively then giving then him something to worry about. And then as soon as Nine Super Pi decided to stop running, just runs right into Diamond Swing and F Smash. Nice! Wow, and even going over the minecart, too. Yeah. And the, the soccer ball having, uh, I think it's unstale amount of damage on, on Yeah, yeah, it does. So effective. Anything that's an item or projectile... Oh, sorry, anything that's an item, a throwable item, usually has unstale damage. Doesn't matter, folks. Minecart has 12 HP, so whatever you do has to do above that in order to deal with it. Yeah. You kind of have to treat it... Oh, what a spike! Ooh. I'm sorry out loud there, because I could see that coming just as soon as my nine super bike got to ledge. What a down air. What a down air indeed. But yeah, you have to kind of remember, like, if you're not used to... A good exa another example to, like, minecart is, like, snake the... Um, snake cipher. Like, you have to really pay attention to the cipher's health, because if you don't meet the threshold to stop the cipher... Snake will just be able to move, and he doesn't have to worry about you at all. But also, Snake can just be off the deep side with how much fuel Cypher has. All right, well, game three very here. Pivotal game number three. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say, like, this this game three is really important. I'm going to town. Okay. Let's we'll see how the additional platforms uh, mix things up for these two competitors. You also see that Nine Super Pi doesn't really lose their composure whenever some of their like punish sequences don't come quite through. And usually that's like the big thing that Steve Mains will key in on is, oh, they weren't able to continue that, so they're just trying to punish me additionally, so I'm gonna start swinging. Right, right. Oh. oh. You just have to be so careful about axe fair at ledge, you just don't want to get spiked. And for good reason, like the way that Nine Super Pi has been playing this of just using projectiles to move in or using projectiles to slow down, Jake has been proving out to be really well for Nine Super Pi, just being able to have one of those things for Jake to worry about. And even if he doesn't stop Jake entirely, it slows Jake down in the process. And I mean, you can hold an opponent's aggression, and you can start to slowly work them around your game plan. Oh, oh my god. What a trap set up by Jake. He just immediately felt that Nine Super Pi was gonna go down beneath him. But sometimes you don't need an elaborate trap. Nine Super Pi with brute force strength F smash. Take that first stock. 
Right. Minecart fair. Oh man, good shield by Nitro trying to make sure Jake wasn't able to extend that. Can't do much about that F smash though. Oh, almost catch the Nitro by again unawares down below at the end though. That's a forward throw. It's just interesting because like as uncomfortable as like 90% of the cast is off stage at that point, we fit trainers not uncomfortable there. Yeah. It's like true, like, true neutral. <laughs> exactly. And, and even oh. then, like on the fourth throw from Jake, like you go fourth throw is there just to push off we fit trainer off the stage, and then you know that like if we fit trainer tries to look for that low recover again, there will be an anvil. And that's that's the one thing I'm liking about Jake is like he looks to put his opponent in a situation where he gets the best punish on them. Like once again, like that's good. That's good. A nine super pie to always go for header, just to avoid that low recovery and stall out as much as possible. Wow, I, yeah, yeah. that's crazy. Jake's completely turned this game around and turned it on. Said, oh, he almost got the up smash punish, but Knights right managed to avoid it. Was such a weird interaction. Game three, from what I've seen from Jake especially at MSM Online and even the Smash GG ladder, Game 3 has always been so favorable for Jake because it's been the one thing that allows him to push that 3-0 or that, you know, that 3-1 narrative, and it's just really strong for him. So this is potentially looking to be a good, you know, game moving on from Game 3 to Game 4. Jake is looking to put himself pretty much in a W, but we'll see Night Super 5 finally forcing out that roll get up here and getting the tilt to finally take care of things. I hope it's not too little too late. What a great way to punish oh, off man. the minecart, too. Looking for ways to kind of slowly ease in and adapt against Jake. Landing near to Look back at that. And two it, feeling himself. It's any man's game now. And nine super pie, like I said, That's he's the just... the power of deep breathing. Yeah. <laughs> he's got to keep things up, though. He can't let go. No punish off that. Okay. I was, oh, no. That's what cost you. That's I was gonna say like like no no punish there wasn't too bad. The problem is like you're stuck in the end leg of back air and in hindsight yeah. Steve can just react because <sighs> Yeah, jump jump fair in that situation just outsped the F tilt. Next if I almost brought that back. Uh, what I really wanted to say was like there was a very major moment in that game, which was when Jake um Caught Knight and Super Pie in a situation where Knight and Super Pie went for deep breathing on the plat. And in most other circumstances, like, if you're a Wii Fit, you're thinking, oh, I'm just going to get this deep breathing because obviously, you know, Steve's a go for mining. And Jake was like, no, spaced back air and got the kill. And then immediately started steamrolling Knight and Super Pie on that third stock. So that, that I feel like, really made the difference in game number three. Yeah. And like I said too, like the way that I've seen Jake here, at least on the TGG streams, he's always been good at game three. Like game three for Jake has always been the big, the big winner, literally the one step closer to victory, and he attains the victory. Putting in game five for nine Super Pi, I'm not saying it's impossible, but the past few times Super Pi has been off to a great start, and Jake is just there to slowly bring things back. I, I just love these big giant callouts, like uh, <laughs> salute the sun into the approaching minecart. The more these players swing and throw hands, the more I get excited. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> oh, nice grab there by Jay. He's got a nice reply a little bit off stage, up the top. Good stalling header. Man, that's just back and forth between these two so far in game. Oh! You can tell the, <laughs> like, I have to commend Jake on that one. You can tell that Jake held shield to wait if nine super power was actually going to give out because when you're at the corner sometimes the options are to like jump out of shield that's a uh -oh. forwarder yeah oh, oh man and didn't even get the spike hit box with a weak hit out and that was just enough to it, it was good too with how yeah i was gonna say like how far and how deep you were it's good and that's the crazy thing about jake as a player that i've seen is he waits for that last opportune moment where you think jake is going to give it up in reality he doesn't he'll go there because the thing is, most other Steve mains will just go for mining resources, having recognized that moment. Said Steve, uh, Jake uses picks that those opportunities there to go aggressively. But right now, Nine Super Pie got right back into this. Yeah, the crazy thing about Jake too is he mines on the go. So while he's looking for mining, he's effectively setting up a whiff punish opportunity to, to cancel out your approach. And it's just so good for Jake because he's always doing that. 
He's mining on the go. He's mining on defense. He's mining on offense. And essentially, that's oh. the best way to play Steve. What a great way to save yourself to come back. I questioned right? those blocks, but that was the ultimate big brain play. <laughs> Such a change saw the future. I will say that Super Mind Super Fight is just a little bit unfortunate with some of the space and some of these options. It was an F tilt whip right before that sequence. Oh, big salute to Sun coming through, and there goes Jake's second stock. I'll go live through the anvil drop. The crazy thing, too, is that Jake had set up that situation to force out nine super mind for that low recovery, but how aggressive he was at the ledge. I'm smash coverage. That's oh, I'm so, whoa, Oh my god. The Ella goes Jake back is there. in his head. Yeah. He's in his head. <laughs> how could you tell the B right there to catch that? He's in his head. Like, the end leg off backer amazed me enough that he had enough time to go for up smash. Oh, Jake was trying to look for the home run hit there. Take this game three or take game four and take the tournament. Big F smash by Dying Super Pie. Got full stage control now. Yeah, Jake slowly butting his time back on oh. the stage here. Gets a punish right off the minecart. He pretty much has center stage control back on the cross up from Super Pie here. And that's good because that's what Super Pie has been slowly getting better at it, is the cross ups on Jake. Forward throw to have this man off the stage. You can tell Jake wants to slowly come back center stage here. Goes for a grab as a call out, but the only call outs here are going to be the one from Super Pie. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go to game five. Only so few characters that can get that kind of falling punish to go in that knockback direction and yeah if it is very much alone because of how weird and awkward fair is <laughs> man i love the back and forth between these two especially with jake starting to adapt to nine super pie's recovery back to stage options just because you know unless you've got we fit on a very uh funnel trajectory like how you know minecarts command grab can do there isn't really a lot of work in trying to capitalize on we fit up top off stage you know so let's see how things develop here in the final game of grand finals between nine super pie and jake And chat, these game fives are only hype because of you guys and your support. So make sure to support the player you want to see win. Yeah. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Oh. oh, man. And I like, I hate to be the guy, dude, but that ain't no homie stock, bro. We, we, we no. playing for W's, <laughs> we playing for cash, we playing for pride. We play for everything here on this Wi Fi era. USD. Best believe it will not be the homie stock. Oh man. That was a brutal way to start things off, but nine super pie, not deterred. Still Dude, you know what here. I just remembered? Like back in Smash 4 or yeah, I think like Smash 4 and even old. Like more so four, I do remember like some Lucario mains when they play doubles, they would just oh, lose man. a stock because of what you gain from it. Oh, this is no. not that situation. Wow, that's it. Oh, Jake just picking a spot again, surgically dealing with that second stop from 9 Survive. And this is absolutely Jake's game to lose. Yeah, this is definitely Jake's game to lose. 9 Super Pie has so much to climb up to. It's not impossible, but it all starts with that same pattern that Super Pie has been able to put out against Jake. And the yeah. crazy thing about it is that pattern takes some time to set up and have it go into full effect. And it's, is it going to be too little oh, too late with 74? Fair? Oh my God. He looked for the home run hit there too. Oh, uh, big grab back throw, putting nice super pie back off stage. Oh, what a cheeky there, way to set up back throw. I'm sorry. Right. You have to be so careful about steam just sitting on block off stage. Big header though. Nine Super Pie is trying to find this kill. Oh, he missed. You can see it's just starting to slip away from Nine Super Pie. Oh, he no. What? In the middle, because oh. the, the animation, the animation yeah. for Wii Fit, she does like a, like a, like a flip. Yeah. That and that's basically right to start double jump. That's mm -hmm. going to do it. <laughs> Relatively anticlimactic way, but still well fought by both players on the last. Congratulations to Illusion Jake. He is the MSM Online winner.